That's right. That's right. Balling. That's what I do. Today, I went to the 101 coffee shop in Hollywood. I love it there. I go there a lot. Best coffee. Amazing breakfast. A little pricey. It's good, though. It's where they film swingers. I'm going to show you on a, like, to get a first-person perspective all the way through the 101 coffee shop in Hollywood. And, I said that already, and going to Universal Studios, but we're not going in. I didn't go in. I, I've been there. It's good. It's all right. I showed you, I'm gonna show you, I show you a bird's eye view. It's really cool. You see all of Universal Studios and all of uh, the San Fernando Valley from one street, one street in Hollywood. Okay, so watch this. That does not look like James Dean. That looks like James Dean after the accident. Open for me. Thank you. Love this place. I come here every time I'm here. <laughs> right outside the Meet famous and swingers and other things. The Hollywood Tower. Very famous hotel, which is now, I believe, a senior center. I'm not sure. That's the 101 highway right there. Up there is the way to Universal Studios. What, what? Oh, there's Universal City right there, the big hotel. And then coming up on the right is the, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, I know where I'm gonna go right now. I'll actually show you something really cool. <laughs> Lousy Nitpickers, that's the name of the place. I love it. So stupid. So this is uh, the other side of the valley. Well, no, it's well, it's, it's it's in between Hollywood and the Valley, and I'm going to go show a very very cool thing up here if I can find it. I I'll find it. I'm very clever. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Hills during the day. It's hot up here, yo. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you something cool very soon, very soon. So this is the back of Universal Studios. Pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. That's the plane crash from War of the Worlds. Crashed onto that suburban street that they made. There's Harry Potter World in the back, whatever it's called. Parking lot where I parked before. Uh, yeah, and there's a Psycho House, the top of it right there. I'll show us, zoom in. That's a Psycho House. Jaws is just around the bend. Isn't that cool? Soon we'll see a tram coming through probably because they come through every five minutes or so on the tour. Um, 
That big blue screen was used in many, many movies. Which ones escape me right now? Ah, oh, God, that's annoying. Paramount Pictures just has the big one where they did the Truman Show and a few other movies. What did they do? Ah, oh, there's a tram. Now, what movies did they do here with the big blue screen? Anyways, that's awesome. Look at that view. That is wild. Wild. You see all of the, the valley here. More mountains. Yeah, really cool. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Here comes the tram through. I did this tour last year. If you're going to do a tour, I recommend Paramount or Warner Brothers way before Universal Studios. Universal Studios just zip through it and nothing crazy that you see. Nothing, if you love movies, wasn't as good as the other ones. The other ones you get to walk around the back lots. This one just drives through. And there's a music park at this one, but the rides are more for kids, I would say. I guess all rides are for kids, but you know, if you want to be roller coasters, you've got to go all the way up there to Six Flies Magic Mountain. That's far. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's the back lot right there. You can see it right. Let me actually be able to see if I can point. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. And some sound stages. And there's more sound stages around the bend that way and over there. Very and cool. if while you're here, if you're tired, just come and sit on these people's front lawn. Look at that. Gorgeous. Sit in that chair. Just relax. They don't care. Trust me, they don't care. I love these 24 hours. Well, this one's a 24 hours. These newsstands in LA, they're kind of all over the place. But this is my favorite one. I'm not sure why. I just like it. Anything you want. No. Within reason. Let's see if they've got some music magazines, because that's what I like. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I only got two things. I usually get a lot more, but oh well. Rolling Stone. Uh, Harry Styles on the cover. What has become of Rolling Stone? It used to be counterculture, avant-garde now. It's Guys like this, although his new song is good, but still. But I guess Rolling Stone always kind of put the pop stars of the day on the cover. But they did used to be a little more edgy. That's kind of disappointing. But I'll still read it. And of course, Los Angeles Times. Gotta see what's going on around me. And I know what's going around me. Craziness. Jamaica Kula. Let's see if this keeps me going for the ride. Just a lightly carbonated energy drink. That's what I need. Energy drink. Energy drink. Yes, I'm very tired. Okay. Oh my, you can smell it as soon as it opens. That's what she said. Okay. That's really good. Turn left. Turn left okay. the ramp. All right.